Paul Ravello of uh, ProPhysique.com and I just wanted to do, I haven't done a little video in a while and I had a lot on my mind recently and um, I made a commitment this year to do a lot of things and one of those things was you know to be more um, more active with the YouTube videos because I really enjoy doing them but I gotta be honest like sometimes man it just gets so crazy with, with work and, and life um, but I want to keep um, up with this YouTube commitment because I really do enjoy putting material out and getting feedback and Actually, I love watching YouTube videos in general, so they're just um, they're just a, a part of my day, for whatever the purpose. And uh, I'm actually testing the new pre-workout by Core Nutritionals. Um, Doug had four samples sent to me, so it's uh, A, B, C, and D, different flavors. You know, I don't know the specifics of uh, what other differences there may be in there, but you know, he's asking for feedback from from all the core reps and. and um, and so, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you take a pre-workout, you get a little little amped, and sometimes um, that's sometimes when I have some of the best thoughts. And uh, last night, actually, here it is, right here. Last night, I went and saw uh, a motivational speaker by the name of Eric Thomas. If you're not familiar with Eric Thomas, uh, when you're done watching this video, just click his name. And, uh, on YouTube and watch one of his videos. I'm sure you guys have all seen his videos where he talks about when you want to uh, breathe as bad as you want to succeed, that's when you'll be successful. Um, and uh, I was invited by Lane, and you know, Lane is one of the most successful people I know, um, one of the most driven people I know, so I was kind of intrigued. I was like, Lane, what, what makes you want to go see Eric Thomas? You know, like, you work around the clock, you're always working on the next thing. You never lack for motivation. Um, you're always setting your goals. And um, he said, you know what? Why not go see? Why not go find out what we can do, what we can be better at? And can't argue with that. So went, and sure enough, uh, we had a great time. Went with uh, Ryan Doris, Lauren Conlon, and myself. I think there was probably maybe, I want to say 150, 200 people in there. Um, it wasn't overly crowded. It felt very personal. Um, and as advertised, I mean, obviously, you know, all the videos I've watched, he's a fantastic speaker. And the one thing that stood out to me, actually many things stood out to me, but one thing that, that really stuck with me was um, at the end, after all was said and done, he did a little question and answer, gave a few people opportunity to ask a question. And one gentleman asked him, said, what do you do to find your passion? If you don't know what that is, like, you know, Eric talked a lot about passion versus fire and how to apply that um, to making your dreams come true or being successful or however you measure success but finding your passion but this gentleman said well you know how do you know what your passion is and and uh, I was very interested in this because for years I kind of ignored what my passion was um, it was always I kept it on the side um, my passion being you know for lack of a better term bodybuilding or fitness or just the um, the, the idea of manipulating your physique, your mind, um, into something that you want it to be. And um, so when, he, when the gentleman asked that, he said, well, do you know what a lion likes to do? And kind of said, well, he likes to hunt. He said, do you know what an eagle likes to do? And he said, well, you know, fly, the eagle likes to fly. So, well, you know all this about these animals, but you're not one. So he goes, so you observe that. So if you want to know what your passion is, ask someone Who's close to you ask your friends ask your family and what what I really thought about was when I was 16 or 17 and I was playing baseball and trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and about to go off to college um, if you would have asked anybody close to me what my passion was they would have said bodybuilding um, I had the modern bodybuilding encyclopedia by Arnold Schwarzenegger I had every fitness magazine I lifted weights. My dad had bought me a weight set. Um, I did just about everything I could to add some muscle, learn about the you know the the science behind how to do it better. Um, but it never really occurred to me that this that was actually a career. Um, and who knows where I'd be right now with my career if I had taken that passion at that point. Instead, I kind of I kind of took the approach of, well, I'm going to go to college, I'm going to, I'm going to learn some business and some communication, try to get like a broad understanding of how some things work. And don't get me wrong, that has played a, a, a role in, you know, where I'm at in my life and, you know, my, my successes and stuff. Um, but I just found that very interesting that if you, 
you if you don't know what your passion is let let somebody else answer that for you and it might not be as simple as how do you go after your passion once you know what it is but once you let your mind kind of go in that direction I, I promise you you'll start to see some options um, open up oh op what's available I mean uh, you know the fact that I'm at USF right now taking classes in exercise science so that I can get into the master's program there um, and who knows where it's gonna go from there you know like I, I feel like I'm just at the beginning of this journey because I've I've been coaching and um, you know making this my career full-time now for just just two years whereas for 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 13 or 14 years I was in IT and I was in the business world and I was in the corporate America world and uh, you know I was working the nine-to-five job um, and I was doing fairly well there but I didn't have the passion and that's why I was probably never going to be great in that arena but I think I have the potential now to be great because I'm gonna just outwork outlast outlearn outlift just out everything I can do to be where I want to be and it's because it's not work to me it's um it's not a struggle it's something I look forward to I'm sitting in the parking lot of the gym right now and I can't wait to go in and lift can't wait to get on my computer later study for class I can't wait to you know work with my clients I can't wait to have them on stage this weekend competing next weekend competing you know so um, if I was still at my corporate job when I clocked out I went home that was it I was done uh, I couldn't wait to go to the gym you know so I was always I was always working so I could spend time on my passion and I just think that that message of if you're not 100% sure what your passion is let somebody around you maybe guide you or maybe even if you just think about it long enough you know and maybe there isn't a clear path to it right now but um, finding out what that path is you'll never you'll never know it if you you never just let your mind go to that place so anyway sorry for the cheesy video guys about finding your passion but I just I was kind of moved by you know obviously seeing Eric Thomas and um, and and the things that are going on in my life and Lane's life and Lauren's life heck and Ryan's life um, you know we're people that are all chasing our passions in one form or another and uh, when you're around that it kind of uh, kind of fans the flame um, in your own life so hopefully you guys are doing some of that right now and uh, questions comments below I appreciate it uh, click the subscribe button I'll get some more videos out I've got some uh, videos planned to shoot this weekend so more coming and I appreciate the patience guys thank you bye